Uh, Dashi was a name actually given to me by, by yeah, my spiritual teachers, like two of them, by my Taoist master and my Buddhist master. Dashi actually, it's called abbot, but literally translates as elder teacher. So it's an older teacher, and, and there's, there's the Sifu or the teacher father that many students under me have that title. And my teacher was like, you know, you're, you're the teacher of the teachers. Now you need to start using the Dashi title. Yeah, Sifu means teacher father, Shurfu in Mandarin, as they, as they, uh, they talk about. And, that, and again, it's different than the sensei that you see in the Japanese. Japanese, uh, a sensei is a teacher. A Sifu means teacher father, so you actually become a father figure. And it, it's more based on a family system, a strong family okay. system. Um, I would say everywhere from people who, I say what, it's not something you find a lot of reclusive people which are interested, or people who aren't socially out there, you might say, they're, almost, they're, they're very quiet people, people who are very reserved, people who are inside, want to express themselves, but they don't have a way of actually letting it go. Um, it's also good for people who are looking on a spiritual path, they're kind of not satisfied with what they know. If nothing else, I'm not here to change people's religious thoughts. I'm here to look at what their religious thoughts are trying to tell them that aren't out simple. They're, 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 they're making it either like too confusing or too about you got to worship a God out there or you got to put them in charge and there's no change. This is cut in concrete. When you find, uh, in, I would say in our spirituality, you'll find what your teachers or your, your prophets were trying to say. I would say more in a, in, in a truthful manner rather than being just, uh, changed by people who are trying to make it more beneficial for their, themselves. Okay. Um, also, it's for people who, who are, are getting older and all of a sudden they're, they're, they're getting weaker and they find that, what can I do to make myself part of society again, a part of my family, so I'm not uh, sitting on a, looking at TV falling into chalk. I want to do something for myself. And I would say, the, the thing that's, that's great about it, not just in the spiritual aspect or the qigong, is when we come to the end of our life, and I learned this in hospice, is what did I do to help other people? How did I make a difference in people's life? How did I make a difference in my own life to grow to where, when it's my time, I'm okay with it?